down to the nitty gritty of a lot of things that have been going on, you know, in the past, whatever. We're just going to answer the questions. We're going to ask the questions and you're going to answer them to your fullest potential. We're just going to get down to business. Is you ready? Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Okay, so I'll go first. How are you mentally? Like, where are you at in life? Um, like, I'm doing good. Definitely doing better. You know, everybody got their ups and downs, but I'm doing pretty good right now. That's good. Good to hear. Good to hear. Um, how do you cope with mental health and taking care of yourself? Um, I do different things. Like, you know, I dance or if I get angry, I try to listen to music. It calms back down. Reading, just like staying to myself. Because, you know, when I get overstimulated around people, it really don't help. So just, right. you know, take time, walk away, count to 10. And yes. Come back to life. Yeah. And take away, walk to 10. You what? <laughs> yeah, you said it back. Music do count, you know. Who are your favorite artists? Skillet Baby. Oh! Okay. Like, what song got you to like him? Finished. Okay, I ain't heard that one. So you gotta put me on. Yeah, we're gonna listen to that after. Okay, how old are you? I'm 17. 17. Okay. Are you still in high school? No, I graduated early. Okay, what year did you graduate? I graduated in the middle of my senior year, which was this year. Okay. Girl, early. Cool. Cool. Getting out the way, I know that's right. <laughs> Was you ready? Like, did you want to graduate early or? No, I wanted to. I wanted to finish my senior year out so I can go to prom and stuff. But I just didn't want to do a school no more. Right. So I just yeah. So you, you didn't go to prom? Mm-mm, I can't go to prom unless like somebody invites me. Right. Oh. Um, okay. Are you in a relationship? You single? Like I'm in a relationship. Ooh. No, because I've seen that post. <laughs> you have posted like no face, no case. Like yeah, no tip, like that. Period. So that's no good to hear. Okay. You're happy. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah that's just very happy. happy. And yeah, well, I think we're going for y'all. Because, you. you know, when we get in that relationship, we be off the, <laughs> off the <laughs> grid. So, <laughs> for real. Yeah, I know how that is. Well, I know how that goes. Um, are you working any type of job besides clowning? Any type of side hustles, promos? Like, what's your. I do uh, promotion and content creating. Okay. Like I do wigs, clothes, regular items. Just, you know, whatever make me that money. Yeah, period. Have you seen your own TikTok? Yes. But it's always popping on my FYP. It's always on my party page. I thought like, you go, girl. It's no, not, for it's, real. It's about get your money any type of way. Because yes. the money isn't in the world. You yes. just gotta go get it. Everybody. <laughs> it's enough for everybody. Literally. So, if y'all watching, make sure y'all go get y'all some money. Stop being hating. Stop talking that talk on the internet. Maybe the money. Is what's going on. Can't be broke. Yeah. Period. Feed that mouth. Period. Okay. <laughs> um, how did you start doing promos and stuff? Like, um, how did that? Start? I literally, like, to get, like, stuff, like, free stuff from people, like, this wig, they paid me $400 to do, and then it was free. Yeah. Uh, I just put my email in my bio. I kid you not. And, and then they, they just, just email you. you. And yeah. they just started emailing. On TikTok, I did, well, I I just, no, it is TikTok. Email. Yeah, it, it's in my bio. But, see, I be kind of, like, skeptical about getting wigs stuff because everybody don't have good wigs but i know mm-hmm. a lot of companies do have good mm-hmm. wigs and i've had people send me wigs and stuff and then i'll mm-hmm. throw them on or they, they pay me and stuff so it is you know if that's your lifestyle you it do, do pay the bills it do. It, it do get the job done so i've been seeing people on tiktok good. this lady just showed she made five thousand dollars off a wig like i gotta get on my zoom yeah, the wigs be coming through. And I need to learn how to do a wig. Because what? I need that. It's easy. Just look it cool. is. It is. You just got to take that time. Yeah. And really just. Really sit there and blow dry yeah. mm-hmm. like 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you can't say bad for an hour. Right. Like, yeah. I need to be off. Steve Wall. Steve Wall is crazy. Um, is there any goals you want to accomplish this year? Uh, I want to get a job. Like an actual job. Like I always said, I don't want to work a nine to five, but I want to experience it. Cause my mom said I couldn't get a job till I was eighteen, mm-hmm. cause she wanted me to focus on my schoolwork. But I want a job. Like you know, I want to be able to make my own money consistently, right. not right. just like concentrating or this and that. Like, right. Right. You know, so any people. like preferred jobs that you would want to work at, like a fast food restaurant or like mm-hmm. a school. Yeah. Retail store. Mostly, mostly like a school. Like uh, I might be starting like an after school program thing where I go and I like teach the kids and stuff. Yeah. Or like I can sell some shoes, some clothes, but I can't work in fast food because I don't play that. Right. You're not gonna yell at me because I yeah. don't got no sauce. Fast food. <laughs> it's not, not my fault. Yeah. Um. Fast food jobs are not for me. <laughs> like I worked at Chick Fil A. That was my only fast food job, and it was crazy. It's not even about. The company, because the company was good. It's about the people. Mm-hmm. Like, you really got to have patience. Employees, customers. You got to have a different mm-hmm. type of patience for that. So, yeah. whoever works that, I pray <laughs> y'all. 
I'm gonna come order, but I ain't, right, I ain't working right. with you. No, for real. Okay, so do you have any thoughts on college? Or are you just done with school overall? Um, I want to go to college, but I kind of don't. Like, I'm taking a year off, but if I can get on my feet in a year and I feel like I don't need to go to college, then I won't. But if it's like, mm, girl, get your money on, then mm. I'm going to go to college. Do you have an idea of what college Any schools? Uh, no, probably like a community college. I definitely mm-hmm. don't kind of want to go to a four-year because mm-hmm. I plan on doing law school, so mm-hmm. just going to transfer over. Just yeah. Just yeah. That's good, though, That's just to, you know, have that backup plan because yeah. it's always needed. So. Mm-hmm. Um, what is your life like on a daily basis? Like, what is your, what are you doing in your free time? What does your daily life consist of? Mostly, i just been getting up. Uh, I'll probably, like, wake up, talk to my girlfriend, mm-hmm. uh, record a couple of videos because I always have to record something or somebody always texts me. Mm-hmm. And then I end up, like, doing stuff around the house mm-hmm. and I should go with my girlfriend and that's it. Period. So y'all spend a lot of quality time. Yeah. Today. That's good. <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. That's really um, good. How has clown dancing changed you as a person? Uh, it changed me a lot. It definitely taught me like self control, self patience. Because I used to get mad like really easy. Mm-hmm. But you can't get mad at people getting your face in the battle. You want to swing, like you know. Yeah. Everybody always yeah. say, "Oh, I can't do clowning because y'all do too much and this and that." But it teaches you like patience, like yeah. to to calm down and mm-hmm. think, it keeps your life on track. Like you know, you don't want to go to school so your parents can let you go clowning. So it's right. like you know. It, it push you on a schedule. It definitely helps. That's definitely good. Because I always said, if I wasn't clowning, I don't know where I would be mm-hmm. in life. Like, clowning makes you focus. It's like a different outlet. Mm-hmm. It's a family away from your family. Like, for real. Yeah. And patience, like you said. Yeah. You know, teach you patience. And patience, you need that in a, in a real world. Because mm-hmm. it's crazy out here. People is losing their minds left and right. And you just got to know how to just be patient within yourself, within the world, everywhere. Like, it's yeah. just, you just need it. Yes, you do. Um, how many clown groups have you danced for? I danced for Boom Squad was my first squad, mm-hmm. and then I went to CDEU. Then I went Wait, to what's that? Squeaky. Oh, Squeaky Clown Dynasty Entertainment, Entertainment University. University. Okay, <laughs> that's a lot. Okay. <laughs> then I went to Larry. Okay. I hopped out with HB twice, so I don't really count that. And okay. then I came to. Okay, period. I did not know you was at CBE. <laughs> that is crazy. The name is so funny. I just know that squeaky group. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Since you left T Squad, do you feel any type of way about T Squad or Tommy? No, I keep telling y'all, and I started it off with don't bash nobody and don't bash this man. Y'all don't mm-hmm. listen, y'all don't listen, y'all don't listen. It wasn't no wrongs on either side, to be honest. It was just a disagreement. And if you're an adult, you can move past the disagreement, then y'all could do what I do, like go to their events yes. and speak to people. Right. Because it ain't never no beef when it's business. Right. Yeah. Y'all gotta learn to, that up. Yeah, y'all got to learn to separate that. It was just a disagreement, like, and that was that. A lot of people take stuff and run with it and, you know, twist it and make it for what mm-hmm. they think it is. But mm-hmm. it's always better when that person can come and say, like, I don't have beef with them. Yeah. Or, I don't have a problem with them. I can go to the events. I can speak to Tommy. I can yeah. speak to Emmy too, too. Like, it was never nothing. Yeah. I came back and did the caffeine. Like, how am I going to do caffeine and not be in Tommy's face? Right. Like, we fine, y'all. <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all be dragging <laughs> Yeah. Honestly, y'all didn't know that. I don't know daddy. It don't. Y'all make the worst <laughs> you know. Okay. I think this is a very good question because it's been a lot of them, but I'm going to just get your opinion. What is your most iconic battle over here? That's like, top of the top. I feel like it would have to be me and Soraya versus Dede and Jalea. Oh, I forgot okay, about that. here. See, I forgot about that. I was going to say the big three when you did the the middle thing and then the few mm, fingers. That I was gonna say that one because that, that one did was so go viral. viral. And mine did. And it's still going viral you to this day. And you threw her <laughs> that one too. Oh, we're gonna talk about that one. <laughs> that one. <was> but yeah. <laughs> she was turned. Oh my god. Yeah. I would never forget that. So you said you and um Soraya versus Dede and who? Julia. Julia. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's when I feel that. like they really like first seen me. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh okay. my god. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. So if y'all haven't watched that, make sure y'all go check it out, period. Yeah, I need to watch all of that. That's period. Okay, where is we at? I 14. Oh, what is something so memorable you would never forget 
with T Squad and what when is when was the time a clown over here made you mad? Uh my first my memorable moment. Uh, when it was at Adrian's kickback stuff. Oh my god, that's so viral to this day. Adrian's kickback was going nuts. Y'all don't know what even took place. It was so much for us going to on get that there. Whole day. Like to, get, to even get there, it was so much going on. The car caught on fire. Everything. And we still went thirsty. Yeah, the truck was on fire. It was in flames. Oh literally. That was like the literally. funniest time. That was hilarious. And we went and we turned it up. Yes, mm-hmm. we did. We got shut down. Off and we turned it up. <laughs> okay, what was the time a clown made you mad? And what time? Over here. The first time, it was Janiah. That, y'all mad at me? Yeah. <laughs> no. Let me say, I knew Bunny was mad because she was going up in the battle. Oh, my God. <laughs> I forgot what happened, but I, I remember it the It was battle. about the hop out order or something. Yeah. Remember? Mm-hmm. No, I don't remember. It was just something stupid, but oh my God. That was so funny. <laughs> Bunny was turned. Because I hate when I cry. Once you make me cry, like, you got to oh, feel yeah. what I feel. Crying like, is a whole different type of anger. Like, mm-hmm. she was like, I'm not backing down. Like, what? <laughs> so that's the only moment. Uh. Yeah. Oh, Sassy made me mad a couple times, like during the battle, but that was just like with the little talking stuff or stuff that happened behind the scenes, and then we get to the battle and stuff happens. Like, okay. Yeah. yeah oh, that's so, are you cool with these people? Yeah. Okay. Me, Janine, cool. Me, Sassy, cool. Love okay. y'all. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, I don't like we it. clearing out everything today. <laughs> <laughs> we get into the <laughs> bottom of everything because y'all want to take stuff from and put on the room. We're not doing that. It's right. Period. So, let's move on. Um, okay. If it was extended to you to come back and represent THD, T- TSG, would you do it? No. Why not? Only because I feel like it's been so long, and I feel like the things that transpired after and all the hate it got from me, I feel like it would just not backfire, but it would kind of like just throw things off. Like mm-hmm. this whole thing went huge just for you to just like go back. Right. And it's like whether we have our talk or not, we understand that, but it's just gonna be like a communal yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. everybody in my head. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm gonna have where I'm at. I, I like Ducky's family. We cool. Okay. Yeah. Period. That's good. And that just goes to show the internet, y'all are messy. Yeah. Because <laughs> y'all the ones that drag stuff. Like, it don't even be like that. Okay. I feel like, wait, to the back on that, I feel like some of the fans was kind of hurt by it, but I feel like a lot of them played a part in being like, you know, just messy and want to just put yeah. stuff out there and just switch the whole narrative. Whatever happened, happened. But mm-hmm. I just felt like a lot of y'all had a lot to do with it. Yeah, y'all were more hurt than me. And it was mm-hmm. like, leave stuff alone. Like, oh, sue him. It's, it's, it'll never be that serious. Right. I'm so right. sorry. It was, it was just never that deep. Like, we cool. It was just a disagreement. Just move right. on. And y'all stay trying to blame us. Yeah. <laughs> I did not fire her. Yeah. Fire her. Like, that had nothing to do with us. Like, yeah. None of us. I, I'm looking in the camera. I want y'all to know that it have nothing to do with none of us. Okay, because y'all stay trying to blame us. Like, what? We'd be lost just like y'all. Okay, what number are we on? Oh, what is the biggest difference between T Squad and other clown groups that you could say? Um, I would just say like kind of what I heard somebody else say is structure. Like, not saying other teams have structure, because they do. We have different types of structure, but, like, the the whole, we go clowning, and then, like, you know, our parties, it's party time. You don't, you don't play, you don't do nothing else, you don't go run around, you don't go eat, you know, you do what you got to do, and after the fact, like, you know, T-Squad is really able to push away personal stuff in business, and, mm-hmm. like, other groups don't do that. They just, like, you know? Right, like, over here's, like, really a job. Yeah, like, it's actually a job. Like, you act, you don't act right, that check getting cut like mm-hmm. <laughs> docs yeah, yeah. that was docs. his favorite line docs, docs. you're getting docs <laughs> you'll be gone that's so, crazy do your job <laughs> docs is crazy okay <laughs> so clearly you just said that you're still with cashier mm-hmm. so how's that going for you like what's been it's going better we had our ups and downs like we had a, a up moment and we had a real low moment where y'all seen us like we didn't have a lot of people a lot of people left everybody had mm-hmm. their reasons or disagreements on leaving and stuff and then we slowly coming back up we just had auditions we got some good new people okay easy you know they they getting in there we just battled 2k you know mm-hmm. Delta. yeah y'all battled them or y'all about to we battled them twice oh dang y'all be missing everything i know i don't even be seeing so wait on the back of that jacket says c oh yeah, I'm not a CEO, but so captain, 
Money makers, what? Like, I was a co-captain at one point in time, but okay. I stepped down from my position just to be solely a dancer. I felt like Dede could captain by herself, and okay, I was just yeah. really here for the ins and outs. Mm-hmm. But yeah, money maker. Okay. So, period. Uh, so as like as y'all are captains, what do y'all do? Like y'all just run over the group uh, with your captain. We help like uh basically yeah, cause uh, we have Ducky. Ducky really doesn't know a lot like about the clown world, mm-hmm. like. You know, yeah. you two. So, Day Day and AJ and us being people that have been in the clown world, we just kind of help, like, you know, we get the outfits together, mm-hmm. set up practices. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If it's argument, we clear it up with the kids, you know, mm-hmm. stuff like that, because Ducky doesn't really know how to, like, right. handle it. But when she right. come and put her foot down, everybody shut up. It ain't right. no captains or nothing, it's just Ducky. Right, so. right. That's interesting. Okay. Um... 18. <laughs> do you feel more free with cashier, or do you feel like. You still have to be professional sometimes. Uh, I feel more free, but I'm professional on my end. Mm-hmm. Like, they don't force me to not post this or not post that, but I just do that on my end from something y'all have taught me. Like, right, right. that's not what you should want to be seen as no right. matter what, whether it's yeah. T-Squad or this and that. Like, right. you know, yeah. still keep a professionalism for yourself, right. not just because of the group you in. So take it. Take what you learn, like, other you places. Know. Yeah, don't just I'm glad stop. you can say that. Oh, that my you, God. That's good. <laughs> 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 Yeah. You know, you could share with other people or, yeah. you know, portray that somewhere else. Because a lot of people just, you know, we get down talked a lot. And yeah. basically, people just be like, oh, this is whatever, whatever. But it's actually good to hear you say you actually yeah. learned something over yeah. here. And you can go and share it with other squads. Yeah. So. That was amazing. Because it don't matter that really made me happy. who you dance for. It don't matter who you are. Even if you're not a clown dancer, you should not just be on the internet acting crazy. People are watching you. You don't know who watching you. Right. Just how she said that. Say if... Chris Brown looking at us and they just see it. We just raunchy crazy. They're not going to do nothing right. with us. That's right. not. Y'all have yeah. to think about stuff like that. That was so good. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you still have re- relationships or friendships with any of the hot girls, T-Squad girls, or any of the boys? Yes, of course. I still talk to all of them, y'all. I still come to events. Like, even when I was on the team, like, I wasn't really, like, talkative in the group chats or stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I still have relationships with a lot of people, and I still see them. It's still, ah! Yes. Like, it's the same thing. Nothing nothing has changed. Like, right. nothing. I swear. Period. <laughs> um, how close are you and K3 on a daily basis? We I'm close. <laughs> yeah. We don't talk every day, no, but... We talk like enough, like that's like my best friend without the label. Like, that's my partner, period. And that's all that is to me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get deep. I'm gonna get deep. No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, were you fired or did you have the chance to leave on your own? Um, I feel like from different point of views, like it might seem as different things, but on my end, it felt like I was just fired. Like, because on my end, it was kind of like you gay or you not and it was like you know like i know i like girls and i i, I could stay i have the chance to stay but like hide who i am or have to change who i am just out of respect for like the church and tommy and stuff mm-hmm. like that out of respect so it it was like you know i gotta go like instead of hiding myself or playing a facade and this and that i'm just gonna move myself from the thing because i want to be who i want to be i want to yeah right. you want to okay. show you yeah wanna... right. well, yeah that's okay that's fine okay hold on Wait, where am I? Okay. Can you briefly walk us through you and Tommy's conversation before you was let go? You don't have to go into go too deep into detail, but, like, but just sum it up. Because who was in the room? You and him. It right? was just Tommy. <laughs> None of us was in that room. Right. I swear I came out and Anna just was looking at me like, what happened? Oh, and I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> like nobody knew. Everybody. We shot, like, I left the group chat. They started texting me like, did you mean to leave? I'm like, yeah, guys, I'm gone. They like, what? What happened? I'm like, I'm gone. You know, like, nobody knew nothing. It was just between me and Tommy. Tommy's the only one that texted me, only one requested the meeting, all that. Nobody else said nothing to me, even when I was still coming to this. So, it had nothing to do with nobody else. Yeah, don't go to it. <laughs> we do not want nothing yes. to get twisted, concerned, and concerned. Okay? Yeah, everybody was confused. Y'all was, Period. Y'all stay bashing us. And yeah. I'm like, I don't want money to leave. What are y'all talking <laughs> about? I love money. Like, y'all are crazy. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I came in and uh, he just started asking, like he asked questions, was I like gay or bi, some of them I was bi. Um, and then he was just saying like, you know, he, he don't he don't support that. Like he can't, like he doesn't look right for him to basically support it. Like I'm Christian, I'm pushing out this and that, and I have somebody being gay and to me that's a sin. It's like it was a religious disagreement and that was, that was fine. So um, 
he asked me like am I confused or if I was like did I know I'm like no I know like I know what I like like I know what I am like mm -hmm. you know and then he was like I, I can't have that so like you know you got the to let you go so I was just like you know I understood it wasn't like a oh my god why are you doing this ah it was just like I understood once you text me about it and you asked for that meeting I knew what it was that's what mm -hmm. mama said I don't think I'm be dancing no more mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie I think I'm gonna have to stop but it's it's okay guys like <laughs> everything is fine nobody nobody died or nothing right. Jesus and Christ. it was just all over the, the picture that you had posted yeah right, of yeah. You and the girl at the time. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm, I feel like it was uh, after talking like to a couple of the T Squad people and like talking to people. I feel like it was more of so not he didn't support me, but he didn't want it on the internet. Right. Right. But the way like I took it and the way it was said, it was just like it's this or nothing. Like if I would have known, like you know, just don't post it because I don't want to post a girl anyways. Right. But you like I would have took it down. But at that moment and at that time, like right. it was you know you got to come or you got to go. So. When I did have the opportunity to come back and they asked, it was a thought. It was a thought, it was a conversation, but you know, things happen and things change, so I decided to stay where I'm at. But don't think it's no bad blood or bunny not coming back or bunny never gonna come back. Mm -hmm. Cause it's true, but it's not cause what y'all think. Right. It's not cause I hate Tommy. Right. Jesus. Oh my God, I'm so <laughs> glad we are doing this because. No, for real. I've been wanting to get this out for a long time. Oh my God, because the internet, I swear, y'all get on my nerves. I say this probably every way we will say it. Y'all do. Y'all do. <laughs> Okay. I think it's just how they how they handled it, and I think it's just they was hurt, like you said, more than you was, mm -hmm. and I think they wanted their feelings to be understood, maybe. Mm -hmm. But it's it's how you say things and how you approach the situation over the internet. Like y'all don't know us personally, we don't know y'all, y'all don't know Bunny, mm -hmm. so it's like you can't just say something and attack somebody without knowing the full backstory yeah. of what really happened. I think y'all should take that into consideration because. Okay. <laughs> and if I wanted to like come in like bash this man, y'all, I didn't say nothing until it was like three weeks later. Mm -hmm. I hadn't been kind. It was just like y'all, you know, I finally went back live, y'all just asked, so I'm gonna let y'all know. And I moved on. Everybody else moved on. I should move on. <laughs> okay, so Okay. You just Oh, wait, oh you have something to say? Oh no, go. It's it's your turn. You just basically said that you went live about what happened. Mm -hmm. Why did you go live after the fact? Uh, I went live. I was just sitting at school and I hadn't went live in a long time because I was still trying to process the stuff or whatever. And I didn't know how to come about it without everyone thinking like, yeah, I'm trying to bash this man or I'm trying to get caught or I'm trying to get this and that. But when they was first asking, I didn't say nothing because it was just kind of like, you know, I don't know how to come about it. Mm -hmm. Then y'all started making up stories like I fought Blossom or I fought people or I was caught smoking and oh, drinking and Tommy fired me. I was mm -hmm. like, oh my God, no, that is not what happened. So. When I was asking and the live got posted or whatever and I let them know, everyone just started bashing him and I feel like it was just so wrong because it was literally just a disagreement. Like, mm -hmm. it wasn't, he hates my guts, he never wants to see me again. Like, right. it was business. Like, mm -hmm. it was personal life that ended up contributing with my business and it was one of the others. So, you know, I did what I had to do mm -hmm. at that time. Okay, I do remember you saying that, I'm trying to remember your exact words because I don't want to twist it around. I think you said something like, if I had to, if I wanted to go back, I could. Or if I wanted to dance over there, I can. Or something like that. Mm -hmm. Can you clear that up? Because I, I feel like, wait, what am I trying to say? You said that, and then I feel like you said he fired you, mm -hmm. or you wanted to leave. Mm -hmm. So people, I think people. Just yeah, people it got, running. it got like. So where's you fired, or where's you want to leave? Right. I, I was fired, but as I said, as I stated before, like. If I would have, like, maybe came back and told him, like, Tommy, I think I was just confused or uh, I'll come back and I'll, like, do what everybody's saying, take the posts and stuff down or hide mm -hmm. who I am. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, if I if I wanted to go back, I could. I could hide myself and I could come back and I could please y'all and please everybody else or I could just continue to be happy. So right. yeah. You just show the happiness. Yeah. And that's okay. Period. What? This is a, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have a question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How do you, how did you feel about the the blog the blogs defending you but attacking everybody else from Um I didn't like it. If y'all wasn't coming for the, the simple facts or y'all just feel like it's wrong on your end and you want me to do stuff, y'all could have kept those opinions to yourselves or y'all could have just came for the person that did it. I never said T Squad fired me. I said Tommy the Clown. You know, he is, he is his own person. He is his own man. And these are human beings. Everybody's human beings. So y'all just attack people or do this or do that. It don't make me feel good. Like, yeah, get him. 
I got people that dance over here. These still my peoples. I don't want to see them down. I don't want to see them on their downfall mm-hmm. or see everybody talk about them and post about them. It's still wrong. Like, right. no matter what, two wrongs will never make a right. Oh, my God. She is shooting. <laughs> <laughs> Stand on that. Dude. <laughs> okay. uh, what I'm about to say, I feel like when, when people say time of the clown, they automatically think like the main ones that's been over here for a while, which is us, mm-hmm. BZ, um, the, office like the office, the work, the people who work in the office, like mm-hmm. we just control everything that, yeah. that goes on. And it's literally not like that. Like we still have to follow rules. We still have to do certain things that he say. Like, it's not like we just run it over Tommy and the whole organization. It's literally not like that. Like we literally have to still do what he say at the end of the day. Like it's argument. not, yeah, it's just like, it's y'all never, work at Target. You think if I go apply to Target, I'm just going to run Target. Like, I think y'all forget that literally. Like, please, yeah. please listen to what we're saying. I am dead serious. Yeah. Like, they get in trouble too. I swear to God. Yeah. To, to, we get in trouble to, to more than to we, we get in trouble more should. than anybody. I'll be ready to we cry. take over these kids. Let me tell y'all something. I don't, we don't play about the kids. Mm-mm. All the stuff on the internet. Like that's why it's like even sometimes like I feel like the, the little shaver page y'all be sending Tommy stuff. Us in the office, me, me, me and we tried to get that not to Tommy because we don't want the kids to be in trouble. Yeah. Y'all says and Anna, y'all was saying something to somebody and Tommy would be like sat down and we'd be like no, like yeah. y'all don't understand that. It's and like we it's like we work so hard to say. Our squad, because if it was up to him, baby, we wouldn't have hardly anybody. Mm-hmm. It's like, for, for, for real, real. Like, ready. we for would real. be down back to 10 dancers. And it's like, for real, like, that's real life. Like, we literally be working so hard to keep us on one accord. It's it's like, sometimes you got out of control with y'all, because y'all just be, I don't know. Y'all, y'all, y'all be doing that on purpose. And y'all got to understand, everybody's still human. These kids is human. Y'all are kids. And y'all just think stuff they doing. They are human. I, I just feel like y'all forget that these are still human mm-hmm. kids. Like, they're, they still go to school. If somebody hit them, they're going to hit them back. <laughs> if somebody hit me, I'm going to hit them back. So, stop playing. Like, oh, God. <laughs> no, because that's irritating. <laughs> like, I have to get that on my chest. I'm going to start making it. Okay, go <laughs> Okay, so we kind of just already freaked this out, but I'm still asking. Um... Do you honestly feel like we had anything against you at that time or anything to do with that decision? No. <laughs> Thank you. Just to clear that up. I don't know why I think that. Like, yeah, we it just, was, we've never had beef like it again. Ever. I don't know what to tell y'all, but. Like, yeah. Let it go. All the smoky cloud situation, we clearing everything, okay? Please. We clearing it. Because y'all take it and run. I don't want nothing else. Broadway. <laughs> so, no more of that, okay? Okay, this is a deep question. <laughs> it's Ooh, like I have to ask it's, it's getting messy. Let's get messy. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. But let's get messy. Okay. What was the kiss about between you and RJ? Because <laughs> it went viral. Oh like, I was like, oh my God. She kissed me. <laughs> Bunny and love. I know. What? I was, I was so confused. Uh, so, so wait, clear the air, because I think everybody's. <laughs> so me and RJ had like a little something, like a little something going on or whatever, and we was in the car, and he <laughs> licked my face, no, and he posted it. He posted it on my story. For everybody out here thinking that I posted okay. it, I did not post it. We were playing around, he tapped it, and we could not delete it fast enough before because, somebody because got it. Because the internet <laughs> is the police, like, y'all would take anything. Yeah. And it was so crazy, like, people was putting on the blogs, Susu's gonna uh, follow her. Like I don't care. Yeah, it is. Like y'all, y'all really dressed up. Y'all don't even know that. I really don't care. Like, like stop playing. No, but I, I gotta like, go. But yeah. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, are they like something is not right? Yeah. It says no. Oh, and I know you did not post it. Yeah. No. Why? Why not, but why would you? Post yeah, it? no. Be for real, y'all. <laughs> Be for real. Think Nobody about it. Nobody will post that. Really? No like, shade. No shade. Clock the team, bro. Be day. for real. All what day. I posted. Oh my gosh. And y'all, no. y'all really did. Y'all really took that and ran with that. Like, yeah. That was like it everywhere was for like. I just me. wanted to cry. Like, oh why would y'all do me like that? Like, why would he do me like that? Like, it was bad. The internet, let me tell you something. Once something goes on the internet, you can. That's it's there forever. Saving. It's staying forever. You can it's never take forever. it back. Like, mm-hmm. oh my God. Oh my God, that was funny. <laughs> Um, 
How do you honestly feel about the Conchet room? Do you know who that is? Do you no. know who's behind that page? No. It's a lot of them. Like, I can't even I actually haven't it. seen, like, yeah. that tag one in a long time. Either. I think since the last time I've seen it was like Clown Shade Room Part 3 or something yeah. like that. As soon as but, somebody follow me off a clown shade something, you're blocked. I don't play. How do you feel about those? I don't like them. I feel like y'all take people personal business and include it with kind of like, like we said, we still humans. If you see this little girl twerking at this party, then she twerking at that party. That's her business. She don't have on no clown paint. She don't have on no clown gear. This is a job. Yeah. It's not like a, like, yeah, it's a lifestyle. Like, you know, conduct yourself nicely after, but y'all can't tell me y'all wasn't popping at. No. Y'all was. Y'all was. Y'all was. Like, that's so true. Y'all don't be the bad person. Like, y'all do. Everybody is human. Everybody yeah. does stuff. Everybody learns from their mistakes. Like, y'all act like y'all are perfect. Then y'all hide behind the page to where nobody knows who you are or can see your face. It's like, come clean. Come correct. Let me see. Because let me find you. Like, when I catch you, Ricky. When I catch you, Ricky. When Big I catch lady. you, Ricky. <laughs> Big lady. And yeah. the funnest part about it all, y'all really be little kids. <laughs> yeah, like, that too. Like, I'm so, like, no, y'all little kids, because y'all say some of the most stupid stuff. I just ignore it. You cannot let the conversation be mad. Whoever on the clown shade room, y'all are too invested in people's lives. Yes. And y'all have too much time on y'all hands. Hallelujah. And I really pray for you. Why y'all can't just focus on what we show y'all? Why y'all gotta yeah. dig behind the back scenes? Trying to go like, follow somebody, auntie and uncle and cousin and see. Scrolling down yeah. on my mama Facebook. Like, like, that's messy. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Okay. Are you anti-social or are you social? I'm kind of like both. Like, I'm shy. Like, you know, I get nervous very easily. I hate making, like, a bad impression, so I just try to be perfect, but then it, it backfires, like, all the time. But if I'm, like, you know, in a group setting, like, at the lab session, oh, I'm the, the biggest butterfly, but catch me out by myself, girl. I don't know if I'm going to say hi back. I'm a little scared. Like, I'm kind of, like, in the middle. Period. I feel like everybody's like that. I yeah. would want to tell like, I don't know. Um, I think I'm, I'm like with my family and stuff, I'm a talker. But if I just be around random people, I'm not a talker. And I feel like a lot of people be like, how do you dance then? Because I'm not talking. <laughs> I'm just dancing. Like, I don't have to sit here and really have a full, I can't have a full blown conversation with somebody. Like, let it be a guy that's just trying to talk to you. Oh my God. <laughs> like, why are you talking to me? Right Please here. walk away. Please walk away. I can't do that. But when it comes to dancing, it's because when you dance, I don't really see people. Yeah. I, you know, like, no. I, don't see, I don't know. I'll be blanked out. I don't see nothing. It just, I just know I hear music and I hear people, but I don't really see you. So, talking and dancing is a whole different thing. Yeah. Like, like I, I can't good. dance in front of like a small little group or like random no, place, but how you dance in front of a party? I would never see these people again. So, if I do right. bust my face and they didn't get it on camera, then the world would never know. So, I would never see right. them again. So, oh it's cool. God. But, right. mm-hmm. that's a good way to put it. <laughs> okay. This is our craziest moment, we feel like, and we just talked about it earlier. What was the reason behind you throwing Janiah's gun in the trash and spitting on it? Because, baby, when I say the disrespect, <laughs> I was like, if that was me. You really don't remember? No. Like, like she wanted to go first. I mean, no. Like, no. Okay, so I guess, like, okay, I was the first girl or whatever, and I guess Tommy told Janiah, or it was said, what she said was Tommy said that Bunny don't know how to entertain the party, so he wanted me to go first. And it was just like, dang, like, I only been over here so long. Yeah, then I'm hopping out so first. Good. It was like, dang, like, then you say it, like, but you know, they attend the party, like, mm-hmm. okay, cool. So then I started crying, and Big K talked to me, and I guess it got back to Tommy. And then we battled. And it's like, once you make me cry, you feel like I can't entertain, I can't do what I do best, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how much, like, eyes I can get on me at a time. But <laughs> what was wrong about it was because Tommy did not say that. Like that. <laughs> Bro, I, I so it was just so like, oh my god. And then he didn't want none of them to go first. So <laughs> it's then it's like, everybody right, go last. Just don't test me. It, it was just best. confusion for nothing. But that battle was one of my favorite battles. And we was at the park. You was just going wild. Like, yeah, it was crazy. She got on the on the uh, picnic table, everything. It was no, crazy. it was crazy. It was really crazy. Okay. Excuse me. Do you still talk to any members from the Victory, which is Justice and Soraya? Um, like, I mean, yeah, like, if I was to text Justice or text Soraya, like, you know, we might, we'll probably be having, like, to have a conversation, but mm-hmm. our closeness came from us being on the squad together, like, outside of Connor, we didn't really talk, mm-hmm. but, like, during Connor, like, we know we had each other, like, oh, right. you come today, you come today, oh, uh-huh. then we know we good, so it's like, it's no bad blood, but 
y'all just think we was closer than like you know what we actually was and that was fine like you know if we all come back dance together it's gonna come back and be the same thing you know but yeah not really now Okay. <laughs> yeah this is the one okay <laughs> with control okay With you being on cashier, did you know about any T Squad members that factually wanted to go to cashier? And is there any? And is there still dancers to this day that still wants to go? Um, like I know it was like I know it was talks. Like uh, it, it was talks. Like I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm gonna want to say names. I can DM me. Yeah, name it, it was talks. Like you know, when yeah. KT was when KT was at practice and stuff. Like it was talks. Like he was gonna go over there, uh -huh. and I don't know if that was just a way for him to like you know be able to get in good with them or what it was. But like you like like you know it was talks. Like uh, I didn't heard about people getting offered money like Big K and stuff like that. But no, not really. It hasn't really got brought to my attention except for like Dante and Tay. Mm -hmm. I wasn't there on the trip, so I can't really say oh, too I much. About the trip. I'm like, wait, what happened with Dante and Tay? Y'all trying to? Yeah, it was a lot of things that happened on that trip. Yeah, they could have, they could have spoken themselves, but they didn't. And you know, my team is really not the one to like come about. But I'm not gonna lie, Tay did ask me questions to come over on cash in. We're trying to get up over here, Dante. I don't know about him, but Tay, yep, mm -hmm. text it, Ducky, mm -hmm. text it, Bunny. Don't, don't lie. I love don't try to like say. make it seem That's like it. we just wanted y'all. Like it wasn't a mutual thing, or even if it was like, oh, I'm just doing this to get in good with them, like. Then you can't be mad for us thinking what we're right. thinking, but... Because you still say it. Yeah, that's yeah. T. Clock dick. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I got this. <laughs> oh, my God. Everybody's gonna go up. And this is so good because we already interviewed them. And y'all know what they said. Then y'all hear this. But, period. period. Okay. Um, oh, it's my turn? Yeah. Okay, this is the last question. During the time you was with Larry... Wait, you danced with Larry, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. During the time... He was with Larry before you danced with T Squad. Is it true that he was drunk and crashed the car while y'all was in there? He almost took my life, y'all. <laughs> Wait, what? He almost took my life. Like, oh. I almost died. Y'all don't understand. Like, no, you know, seriously? yeah, that's when I came, like, to y'all. I think I hopped out with him, like, one more time. And then you had asked me, like, do you dance for anybody? I was like, I'm kind of on LPAC, but kind of not because, you know, I don't really want right. to be near death again. But yes, he almost killed me. He oh, was drunk. God. And he came down the ramp a little fast. I and I got anxiety. He didn't crash, but we bump, 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 bump. And like I was having an anxiety attack and he was still drunk so he was just kind of yelling at me. And then I did a party and I couldn't breathe because I thought like, you know, maybe if I do the party he'll stop yelling at me. He never stopped yelling at me. Um, I proceeded to then continuously pass in and out because uh, I couldn't breathe. And then we called the ambulance. And then, you know, they took my blood pressure and then I went on home. And then he told everybody I was faking it. So. Well, so how many of y'all was in the car? Um, Damn. it was maybe I can't even really remember, but I know for a fact it was like Bounce was in the car. Mm -hmm. Bounce had came with us one day. Uh, Flip was in there because Flip and Larry started play fighting, and then they ran back in the truck, and then he just was like, mm -hmm. uh, but it was it was a couple of us. I remember Tick Tick Boom Mom ended up taking me home, helping me. She was the one I caught the ambulance and stuff, mm -hmm. so it was a lot of us. A lot of people would vouch for that I was not, in fact, playing, but. Oh yeah, my God, that's really not, like, yeah. you really have to be a strong leader. <laughs> why are you playing with kids? Why are you, why are you, and then you tell anybody I'm lying? You gotta be on 10, because you playing with people. Yeah. I'm so sorry Babies. for that. Like, that's so, no, that's scary, that's not funny. No, I was in the front seat. Oh, no. The no. front? <laughs> oh, I would have walked. I so like, are you cool with Larry? Like, are you know? Uh, we, I just seen him for like the first time, and like, you know, he was kind of like nothing ever happened. So I'm decided to like yeah. let stuff go. Like yeah, it happened so years mean. ago, and you know, you seem to be trying to get your life together. So we cool, me and Larry cool, but seem to be it's correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa! I don't know if people doing their personal life, but you yeah. know, in front of me, in front of the kids, he was looking good. So like, you know, we cool, but it was for sure like some dirty looks when I seen him a couple times before that, and I did not get out the car because. I don't like that. Now I have a lot of words to say to him because I did not lie and I'm not no B I T C H. Period. He called you that? Yes, I'm not. He called me one too, a bald head one. Dang. Oh. It's because he drunk. I just <laughs> messed up. We all just bald heads. <laughs> I guess. I yes. Oh, save it. 
If y'all drink out there, <laughs> please don't drink. Don't drink, drink and drive <laughs> with nobody's kids in the car. And wait, wait, I have more questions. Wait, please. go. <laughs> and don't get on live running that mouth because when you drunk, intoxicated, you don't know. We don't know what. Don't what's mm-hmm. Running and ripping through that mouth. So just be careful, okay? Because that mouth will get you caught up. Real caught. No mouth. more running. Run, 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 run. And that's all I'm gonna say. Wait, okay, I'm sorry, I, I can't get over this. So y'all was on parties, so like he was drunk. Yeah, I mean, dead. We was on our way to our last party, and Flip and Larry then got out and play fighting. But you know, we always playing around. But we coming off the end of the freeway of Watts. If you know, like you know that freeway, come down and you make the right. Mm-hmm. You know, and what was it? Wilmington. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know how you gotta make that turn. <laughs> I know. He didn't make that turn. He jumped back in that car. It's crazy because I was recording right before it happened. Like I'm like, oh, they fighting. And I turn the camera and I turn the camera off because we pull off. And after that, we start bumping. Oh my god. And then we we go and I still can't breathe. He laughing and stuff. And that's a sharp turn too. Yeah. Yes. And we hit the curb, on, hit guys. back, hit again. Yeah. And then some guy some guy gave me a coke because I guess that calms you down. So I was just sitting there drinking a coke and he was just yelling at me. And then we went to go do a party. Do you remember what he was saying? I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Cause he always act like you know it's just. Everybody else fought. Yeah, he was just like, no, they're lying. I would never do that. And I can control my liquor. I'm a grown man, but it's like you can't. When you drunk, you can't snap out of it. So it's like no, you know, you it's a way to conduct yourself. Well, I'm so glad you're out of that situation yeah. and that you're on to like what? Like you're just <laughs> living your life and you're happy because that's what life is about. Period. Period. Yeah. Let the bad energy go and y'all get farther. Yes. So do you have any final words you want to say to your fans, to us, to anybody? Um, I love y'all. Can y'all please stop hating people from things they have nothing to do with? That would really, like, help my heart. And please let the situation go. Yes. yes. I love these people. I love Tommy. And I promise y'all, he and they love me. Yes. She will not be here. <laughs> like, she will not have been, been set. We at the, the academy. academy like, y'all, please. Y'all probably can't tell, but we at the academy, okay? We are fine, y'all. It's just yes. calm dance. It's business. And yeah, stand on literally. Period. Period. Stand on that. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Hi guys. Hey y'all, it's the hot girls. I'm Envy and I'm Tutu. And I'm Bunny. And we just finished the fourth episode of Wait. What was said? By THG. Period. So make sure y'all subscribe to Golden Choice membership on official T Squad TV to watch the full episode. Y'all gonna get all the smoke, all the catch, all the clear. It's going up. Period. We them hot girls. That's funny. Yeah. Cause she got down and she does not play. Like uh-uh. I wanna hear nothing else. She yeah. aired it out. Period. She so really subscribe. aired it out. Go subscribe. Period. Period. We love her. Love you. <laughs> <laughs>